Hello everyone, welcome back with another video. In this video, we will see Internet Programming Laboratory Experiment number 4 that is to write a Java program using Servlet. And it contains two programs that is to invoke uh, Servlet from HTML forms and session tracking. And in this video, we will see only the uh, invoking Servlet HTML form programs. And session tracking program will be uploaded in another video. And before getting into the content, let me explain uh, what are the things you get to know about our Servlets. Servlet is an API or an interface or a web component or a technology or simply a class that handles the request and process them and reply back with the response. So we use servlets to uh, collect the input from the user through the HTML form, query records from the databases and create web page dynamically. Servlets are the program that run on web or application server and act as a middle layer between requests coming from the web browser or other HTTP client and databases or application on HTTP server. There are two types of servlets namely generic and HTTP. Generic servlet is an abstract class and it has only one abstract method which is service method. When we create a generic servlet by extending the generic servlet class, we must override the service method. Whereas in HTTP servlet, it does not override the service method. Instead, it overrides the doGet method or doPost method or both. The doGet method is used for getting the information from the server, while doPost method is used for sending the information to the server. I will upload a separate uh, video for a uh, servlet in detail. Let's get into the program. For that, we have to download the Apache Tomcat server. Go to your favorite browser and download. Here comes the download link. Click over this link. I have already downloaded. Once download has finished, run the exe file. Here comes the installation process. I have already installed. To add server, go to NetBeans, go to Tools, select Servers. Click Add Server button. Select Apache Tomcat. Click Next. Browse for the location where you have installed the Apache Tomcat server. Repeat the same. Give the username, password, and it says that I have already registered. So, this is how we have to add the server in AdBeans. Go to File, click New Project, select Java Web, Web Application, Next. Create a new project. So, index.html. So we are creating a HTML file that will call the servlet once we click on the link on the web page. For that, copy paste the code. Now create a servlet. Name the servlet as example HTTP servlet. Click next. Check the box. Click finish. Copy paste the code.
Next is web.xml. It is a deployment descriptor for web application. It defines the name of the servlet and specifies the compiled class that executes the servlet. Since by calling the welcome page by clicking the link on index.html, we are mapping the welcome page to the servlet class that we created. This defines mapping between the URL path and servlet that handle the request. Servlet mapping element defines the URL path that calls the servlet. Copy the content. This file will be in webinf directory. Paste over here. Save. To run, click the index.html, select the browser, click run button. This is the output, click the link. Thanks for watching.